His name is day 334 and today's question is what three special things have happened so far in this year? Well, one, as a sort of asterisk one, England just beat, um, I just forgot, Wales. So we're in the round quarterfinals. Realistically, do I think we're going to win the cup? No. I think Brazil. Personally, I think Brazil or France. I, I think Brazil. They're just too so quick. Mbappe for France is quick, but I feel like Mbappe is Mbappe, whereas Brazil plays like Brazil. But anyway, one is starting this whole thing. It's definitely allowed me to discover who I am a bit more, be more comfortable talking. But I've noticed that hasn't really put me out of my shell per se, but it has catalyst me into thinking of other projects to do. And I do have things in the pipeline. I haven't executed them, but it comes with confidence and experience. Two, I would say my nan dying. Um, I'm interpreting that as a, obviously it's a negative experience, but to put a positive twist to it, it's a humbling experience and it's given me a different perspective. I've never really seen or felt anyone passing away in my life. And I know a few friends and people who have uh, from a very young age and it sort of is a traumatic experience, especially when you're young and you don't fully connect the dots. And third, um, I'm going to say going to Sky Garden or not a garden at one something um, it's just nice to go up and about and see London from a sort of skyline but it's incredible how if you look literally everything is man-made everything is man-made and I just I'm imagining my mind of what London the concept if it existed would have looked like without man's intervention it's incredible that literally everything is man-made yeah um, I'll see you tomorrow I want to know what you think your three experiences so far are special um, yeah right.